In this video, we're going to write a Python program to compute the perimeter of a square. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the side length. So we'll say input and then side length. The input function is going to return the string that the user enters. We're going to take that string and convert it to a float using float. And we'll assign the result to a variable called side length. Now to compute the perimeter, we're going to take the side length and multiply it by four. So we'll say perimeter is equal to side length multiplied by four. Then we'll print out the perimeter. We'll say print perimeter colon plus and str perimeter. So what we're doing here is taking the perimeter numeric value and converting it to a string with str. This plus operator here is going to concatenate the string perimeter to the resulting perimeter here. So we can save this and try to run it. So we could enter in a side length of let's say five and we'll get a perimeter of 20. So it is working correctly. We could try it again and we'll put in something like 2.3333 and we get back 9.3332. We might not actually need this many decimal digits of accuracy. We could use the round function to round down to a certain number of decimal digits. So for example, we could say round and pass the result of this expression as the first argument. And the second argument would be the number of decimal digits to round down to. So we could say two. And if we save this and then run our program and enter in 2.3333 for the side length, now we get a perimeter of 9.33. If we wanted to compute the perimeter of a square at multiple points in our source code, we probably wouldn't want to just keep rewriting this expression again and again. We could make a mistake if we tried to do that. So what we could do instead is define a function to compute the perimeter of a square and use this expression inside the function. So we'll copy this and we'll make a function called square perimeter. And this function will have a parameter L for the side length. And the function is going to return the result of this expression. We'll replace side length with the parameter name L. And then down here, we're going to call the square perimeter function with side length. So we'll say square perimeter and we'll call it with side length as the argument. So we'll save this and try our program again. We'll put in a side length of 5.55 and we get back a perimeter of 22.2. So this is how we can compute the perimeter of a square using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.